Welcome back to another monthly video where we talk about new games coming to PC. Hey, I'm Zobi. Today we're going to be talking about five new games coming to PC in May 2022. Before we get started, if you're new here, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all the new content we put out weekly. Also, if you don't mind hitting the like button as it helps us grow and we really do appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's jump in. So starting out, I wanted to say that I was looking for more indie titles to cover this month as May is usually a month that not a lot of AAA titles drop in. This year is about the same, so I've prepared a list of five games that I am looking forward to. Starting it out strong, we have Salt and Sacrifice. This is a sequel to the popular title Salt and Sanctuary. This is a 2D Souls-like game. The first title was awesome and this game is looking to keep that record going. This game is going to have many different starting classes where you can either hammer down and build within that class or you can branch out and take bits and pieces of some of the other classes. The starting class classes are Assassin, Cleric, Fighter, Duelist, Highblade, Paladin, Ranger, and Sage. You can see that you're going to have many different options on how you want to approach combat. Crafting is going to shine in this title like it did in the last one. You'll be able to craft weapons, armor, and spells. The world is big and mysterious, make sure you look out for secrets as I'm sure there will be some. One of the biggest things I'm excited for is multiplayer. You can bring a friend in or invade someone's world. The PvP in this game looks rather intense. Make sure to keep your eyes on this one, releasing on Epic and PlayStation. May 10th. Moving on, we have maybe the most anticipated game in this list, which is Evil Dead the Game. Much like everyone else, when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be a lot like Dead by Daylight. However, after some of the other gameplay trailers and a little more research, it looks like it's going to be a mixture of DVD and Fable Legends. The survivors are seeking to get a sacred dagger in the Necronomicon so they can banish the big bad. However, the demon player is going to be able to collect these red orbs that act as currency and be able to spawn in enemies, set traps, and even possess cars in the enemies that they spawn in. All while building a fear meter that if it gets high enough, they can actually possess one of the survivors. This game looks like it's going to be a blast to play with friends, and to be honest, being the demon looks amazing as well. This is coming out on Epic May 13th. Third on the list, we have Dolmen. This is a game that at first I kind of wrote off. However, doing a little bit more research, it has a few mechanics that I think are rather interesting. This third person single player RPG is set in a futuristic world that offers plenty of sci-fi as well as some horror elements. The weapons are really what intrigued me with this game. So you'll have an assortment of melee weapons to choose from and some ranged weapons as well. Now this game doesn't really have ammo as you'll be using your energy for the ammo. How this works, I'm not exactly sure. They could either give you too much or not enough, we'll have to play and find out. Now if that wasn't enough for you, you'll also be using your energy for activating what they are calling energy mode, which imbues your melee weapon with elemental attributes so that way you can pick apart the various and challenging enemies in this game. Dolmen is releasing on Steam May 26th. Next up is the one I'm looking forward to the most, we have My Time at Sandrock. This is a sequel to the very popular My Time at Portia. Now in the first game, time management and crafting were huge and I can't see that changing in this title. With a new setting and new ruins to explore, you'll build and construct machines for the community of Sandrock. This doesn't seem to be adding anything really new to the series, just kind of rehashing the same strategy they had for the first title. Now I was a big fan of My Time at Portia, so for me, they don't really have to change anything and I'll still want to play it. This is one of those nice and chill games where you can build and take commissions, explore the ruins of the past, find a new love interest, or go out into the world for some combat. We'll be gathering our resources for this game on May 26th. Now last but not least, we have Dwerve. This is a tower defense dungeon crawler. I have to admit, tower defense games are a guilty pleasure of mine, so I'm super intrigued by this title. This dungeon crawler will offer a bit of story as you travel through this fallen kingdom. You'll be using various traps and turrets to try and help your tinkerer to the end to defeat the Witch Queen, which terrorizes the surface. Along the way, you'll be finding new weapons and upgrading the arsenal that you have. This looks to be a fun single player game coming out the end of the month on May 31st. There you have it, five new games releasing May 2022. Hope you enjoyed and maybe got an idea of something fun to play this month. Now let me know down in the comments if these are anything you would consider picking up. And if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, think about checking out the description. We have all of our links down there, including our Twitch where we stream four days a week, as well as some awesome deals on a new PC from SkyTech and on PureVPN. Links are down below. This is Sobi. See you guys next time.